Hello football fanatics, it's your boy Luke Links Football back again with another video and yes, it is another away day today. Really excited for it, as you can tell I'm a bit tired like I always am, I never seem to get any sleep but sleep is from the week because we are off to Wolves today, Wolves versus Brighton. Cannot believe it. We're going. Again, Lou Link's on tour. We seem to be going to quite a lot of away days this year. Can't wait to go on a lot next year as well. But um, there's something different to this away day, though. Why is it different, you ask? Well, it's different because we're going to be in the home section today. What? Sorry, Luke Links Football, one of the biggest Brighton fans on YouTube. Yes, I know. I'm going to be in the home area today. And... Um, going to be a bit difficult, isn't it, really? Because, right, basically, the backstory behind it, my dad's client um, got us free tickets today. So it's um, we're very lucky and very fortunate to get them. Um, but, of course, they're in the home area because he is a wall supporter. But to be honest with you, it is what it is. I'm quite happy to go anyway, to be fair. I'm quite happy to get free tickets and obviously not pay for them, which is the better thing. But... Do you know what? It's going to be interesting today. We're going to be sitting with the Wolves lot and um, keeping our mouth zipped at all times and uh, going to be celebrating Podence and Cody and Raul Jimenez and, you know, all those great players. But honestly, if you're a Wolves fan out there, um, sorry, but not sorry at the same time because we're going to enjoy your stadium. Don't get me wrong. We're going to enjoy your players like Podence. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, we're just going to sneakily be... Um, Supporting the Albion instead, not really, uh, you you know, you all slot. So um, I do, I'm sorry about that. But um, let's go down to Wolves. Let's uh, waste no time because we've got four hours travel now. So that's going to be fun. Um, and let's see if we can catch some more Brighton fans as we go. Come on, football fanatics. Let's go off for another away day. Luke Links Football is on tour again. Right, yo, boys, it is the half time for the travel. Um, instead of doing a half time reaction to like a burger or something, uh, which I might still do or something like that, but to be honest with you, if we don't do it, I've got a subway here, subway melt, little review, just in case we don't have anything there. Decent, it's got sweet corn, mayo, um, ham, turkey, bacon. Pretty decent, solid eight for me. Let's get back on the road and I'll see you at the Wolf Stadium. Bye bye. Da da! Wolverhampton, we are here. Brighton, I will be supporting today, of course, but um, probably hide this before we go in the crowd. I don't want to be kicked out because that wouldn't be very fun, would it? But we are here, sunny, sunny wolves. Quite nice, very warm, loving it, enjoying myself actually. Um, not a bad trek. We are very, very early though, so we're probably going to go to a coffee shop and just get something to drink and chill out because I'm excited for this. It's going to be good. Today, it's just destined to be a draw, isn't it? I'm going to go 1 0. It's just, it's, come on now. Like, walls are up and down, we're up and down. We're quite good away though, so I do fancy our chances to even score, but I think 1 0 today. Let's get it. So here we are. Wolverhampton just made it about a three minute walk not too bad look the sun is shining it's absolutely gorgeous like it's a lovely day to come to Wolverhampton today and um, look at the stadium just have a little look yeah pretty nice quite old pretty sure it's um, quite an old stadium but I like the orange I do like the orange um, it's one of my favorite colors and uh, yeah let's just go and have a little walk around and um, get a bit of montage for you a bit of montage action See what this uh, stadium has to offer around the grounds. Garrick, an ex-Brighton vlogger. Garrick, let me know, what do you think the score predictions are going to be today? I'm going to go nil-nil. Uh, uh, there hasn't been many goals the last few times we've come to the Molyneux. And uh, it just seemed, it, I just think it feels like a game we get a draw. It, uh, 
we've had I've seen some stat where we only get nine wins per season in the Premier League. Yeah. Whether that's going to happen again, I don't know. But yeah. I'm going to go a draw with this one. I think Wolves will be up for it. They want they want to get eight. I think yeah. they can still get Europa League. Oh yeah, they could. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, definitely, I think um, I said one all. So I think we're both pretty bang on with that to be fair I think a draw is fair considering we're both quite up and down um, I do think we'll play quite well because we do seem to play quite well don't we away than yeah, we do yeah. home so I think we'll have hopefully a good performance um, but yeah hopefully we at least get a point today hopefully we don't lose but um, yeah Garrick good to meet you and enjoy the game thank you for the interview cheers we're in we're in we're in we're in walking up the stairs cause we're in and he asked me for my camera and I literally said, um, yeah, just, what's in your pocket, mate? Oh, I just got my camera, mate. And he was like, oh, that's fine, nah, don't worry about it, mate. So I got in with the camera, boys. I put my scarf in the backpack. They didn't even check the backpack, mate. Didn't even check the backpack, mate. Oh, let's go. A lot of stairs. Okay. <sighs> like, <sighs> 1B. Literally gone up like 10 flights of stairs, mate. What are you on, mate? Come on, Podence. Come on, Podence. Come on, Ruben Neves. Come on, Cody. Come on, Raul Jimenez. Yeah, boy. We're here, okay. Pretty pucker in here, can't lie. Yeah, it looks pretty nice to be fair. Not too shabby, you know. Not too shabby. Staking out, mate, with a view like this. Wolverhampton, here we are. Got a cheeky Astis. Cheeky sausage for cheeky Julian. Look at this, mate. Look how high up we are. Literally down there. Crazy. Crazy. Bit of steak and ale, mate. I think it's because we're in the home area that it tastes really good. Mate, it's got to be like 6.5. Like, that's pretty good. Pretty, not, not bad. Not bad. Like, this view. Like, let, let me just show you this view one more time. What's saying about this view? What's saying about this view, people? It's a bit nice, huh? Damn, shoddy. Looking very nice. Looking very nice. Righty ho. Let's mess about, mate. We are literally the third row to the top. Brighton fans are over there. And, um, yeah. Do you know what, mate? Bit of a class stadium, this, you know. You know fair play balls, mate. Absolute class stadium. Absolutely class, mate. I do like it. What's that stand though? Look at that stand over there. Bit strange, isn't it? It's <laughs> a bit strange. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> we are so high up right now. I can see the view of the pitch so well. Mad, isn't it? Crazy, right? Very different. Feels a bit like Wembley, being this high. Here it is, yeah. Crazy. Want to see? It's cool. I like it. All right, I like it. I'm enjoying myself. We're under shower. It's not cold, you know, I thought being in shade, would it be cold? It's not cold. Um, it's quite weird, this, this stadium is, is, is interesting, it's like different. Because it's like long woods and it sort of bends round as, as, as it goes round. Look, look again. This stadium, mate. The stadium is interesting, it sort, of, it sort of bends round and it's a straight. And there's one add on there and it bends round again and we have this straight. And it just bends round again. It has some flags up there as well. Very cool though, I must admit, 31,000 31, capacity, that's legit the same amount as ours, so yeah, that's, yeah, we're roughly about the same, so yeah, it looks bigger than Brighton though, I must admit, like it looks bigger, and there's more areas down here which we don't have, I quite like it though, I quite like it, yeah, definitely, very nice, yeah, it is old, it is old, but yeah, no, it's very, very nice, even got a clock there, we've got a clock up there, Anyway guys, I will see you when the first half starts. Just before we go in, obviously, commentary wise, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's just going to be hard. This is going to be hard if they score. But, yeah, I 
don't know how this is going to go, honestly. Hopefully, <laughs> especially when they chant and, and things like that, it's just going to be so hard because I'm just used to like humming it or even singing it and it's the person's right there, then it's going to be a bit difficult. Pray for me. I'll stay alive. Come on, be neutral. cheering as the game kicks off Wolverhampton versus Brighton over Albion Welbeck's already on it here we go again Wolves on the counter now crossing in the box and there it is collected back up I think Mwepu just collected that now Cucurella nutmegging beautiful yeah Trossard doing well there now Casado. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's very good. Shoot, take a shot. Corner <gasps> ball for Wolverhampton. Crowd are going mad. Crowd are going crazy. Incredible atmosphere here. And then we go for his corner. is checked for a handball in the box I did not see it it is checking by VAR the ref might have to look at it and the ref is going to look for a penalty for Brighton and Ove Albion Wolves fans not happy but let's see what the ref thinks the ref is going to the monitor and the ref has decided that it is a penalty kick for Bryson and Hove Albion. Tested for it. I'm looking on the screen. And he puts his hand out. The crowd will boo. Will it mean something? Will it do anything here for McAllister? He misses. Wolves fans go crazy. And this is where Wolves erupt. As aggressive Wolves they are. Look at them. Listen to them. They're unbelievable. They're actually unbelievable. Another penalty. Trossard was completely taken off the ball. Just spoken to a couple of Wolves fans, they agree. They think it's a penalty. A few pushing and shoving going on in the box now. Will it go in? Alexis McAllister will step up for the second time today. Alexis McAllister! It's gone in! And Brighton, a 
1 0 up. And they celebrate in the corner. Brighton fans cheer. Flares go off. Pyro. Limbs in the away end for Brighton over Albion. And they will not miss this second one. Alexis McAllister for the penalty. It is 1 0 Brighton before the half time break. Listen to the response. And there they go. Brighton are 1 0 up. We are winning. Can't say too much. <laughs> Everywhere we go. Feels good. Feels good. Just coming up to half time now, anyways. Positive. Positive. Half time here at the Monolue Stadium. It is 1 0 Brighton at the half-time break. Let's just go on to the second half. Let's not waste any more time. Let's show you back of the action of Brighton shooting this side and Wolves shooting that side. Let's get it, baby. Wolves are giving it away again. Here's McAllister. Back in the box. Murphy's there. Casado tries to get in. He gets it back. Casado is absolutely beautiful. McAllister. Cucurella. Finds Trossard. Cross it in the box for Casado. Moepu's there, takes a shot. And it is a corner ball for Brighton. Callister whips it in. And it is out by Raul Jimenez. Headed out by Cody. Out again. Ooh, Basuma stops the car attack there. And Raul Jimenez leaves it. And it's out, it's a poor throw in from Raul Jimenez. Did rush it there, didn't he? Another attack for Brighton. Oh, Trossard. Oh, that's lovely. Amazing play, Casado to Welbeck, to Leandro Trossard, cuts in, bottom right hand side corner. You've got to say, Brian deserve it, like Wolves have, have had a shocking game. And that is it, Brighton are, they've erupted now. They have erupted now. Mad, that is crazy. Flares, everything you want from a Brighton away area. Cucurella's down though, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> Must admit though, it's, it's been an unbelievable, ooh, to say though. Trossard. It's got. Um, oh, it's very well done. Crossed in. Headed out. Shoot, Suma. Shoot. And it's 3 0. He's done it. Suma. It's 3 0. It's 3-0. I am absolutely, I, I'm like, I've got so much adrenaline going through me. I'm the jitteriest, shakiest person. I want to jump up, up and down, so hard right now, and I can't do anything. Kasuma scored, it is 3-0 at the 85th minute. And they're all singing Suma's song. Sorry, Josh. Tarek's on. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm gonna get out of this stadium and I'm gonna mad. It's 3 0. We never score. Terrat Lamptey's on from Basuma. Basuma's just been subbed off after him scoring. You, I can't tell you how happy I am. I need to talk after the game way more. I'm shaking so much. That is the closest chance all game. Holy. And that is it. The whistle's gone. Booze around the stands. As a Wolves fan, what do you think about that performance today? Uh, you outplayed us, you deserve the three points. That's all I can say. Oh, what a guy. Thank you, mate. Thank you. What a guy. Love the Wolves supporters. They're all lovely. Great people here. And what a beautiful stadium it is. What lads? Honestly, that is one of the best away experiences I've ever had. One of the scariest, most possibly, one of the riskiest, most definitely. Brighton, 3 0. Can you believe that? 3 0. Basuma, Trossard, and McAllister. Mate, this is incredible. We never score three goals. 3 0 against Wolves. We just didn't expect it. We expected a draw. I at least thought a draw. But no, 3 0 in the end. Unbelievable scenes here today. Even the away supporters coming out there. You've just seen how much it meant to the Brighton fans, how much it meant to us. Look, I've got to give every bit of credit to you, Wolves fans, because I know there'll be a few Wolves um, fans, uh, obviously, watching this. And I just want to um, say um, thank you for being amazing supporters like I came out and so many people were shaking my hand and saying well done you totally deserved it I just want to say thank you and um, obviously we're gonna celebrate as much as possible but I do want to just give a minute to say thank you for all your um, amazing support and being fair you know just it, that's what football's all about you know when we win and when we completely dominated the game you know they were like you know what fair play to you you actually won the game fair and square so I appreciate all your Wolves fans thank you very much and um, what a lovely stadium you have as well Amazing stadium you guys have, absolutely lovely. Quite cool seats with little patterns on the seats and all that. I like it, it's cool. No, it is a cool stadium and I will come back again. Maybe not in the home area though, because I do want to be jumping around. Like I was absolutely agitated, like I just wanted to... Come on! But anyway, it's been your boy, Luke Links Football. Once again, please subscribe, please smash that bell and like the video if you have enjoyed. If you're a Wolves fan or a Brighton fan, please, it'll be a massively appreciated. We're so close to a thousand and we could hit that if we um, if we all subscribe. That would just be amazing. And join the journey with us as well. Join the football fanatics. But anyway, apart from that, I'm gonna see you in another vlog or a watch along. Bye bye, football fanatics. Come on.